Good morning, it's Miss Martello with our first March Book Madness update. The first thing I wanted to do was share some of the class bracket predictions. So these are the classes and what book they picked to win it all. And these are the staff picks for the book that will win. These are the books that were not picked on any bracket to be the championship winner. I'm From had one class pick it. Once Upon a Book had one bracket. The Day the Crayons Quit, two. Gaston, two. And This Very Tree had three. Pacho Nacho had four. Big had four. Rescue and Jessica had four. Beneath had five. Hidden Gem had six, and the Diamond View favorite seems to be Finding Winnie with 12 brackets, having Finding Winnie as the champion. So here are the results. Between the Day the Crayons Quit and Finding Winnie, the winner is the Day the Crayons Quit. So Finding Winnie actually got knocked out in the first round, even though it's a Diamond View favorite. Between Gaston and Not Quite Narwhal, the winner is Gaston, between Rescue and Jessica and Pacho Nacho, the winner is Rescue and Jessica, between This Fairy Tree and My Pet Feet, the winner is My Pet Feet, between Once Upon a Book and Beneath, the winner is Beneath. Between Big and This is a Story, the winner is Big. Between There was a Party for Langston and The Tree in the River, the winner is The Tree in the River. Between I'm From and Hidden Gem, the winner is Hidden Gem. The updated bracket will be posted in the Google Classroom. and the um, I'll also update it in the hallway. The new matchups for round two are The Day the Crayons Quit versus Gaston, Rescue and Jessica versus My Pet Feet, Beneath against Big, and The Tree in the River against Hidden Gem. The voting link is the same link that was used for round one. So I will move it to the top of the Google Classroom, but it's the same exact link. They just updated the form for the eight books that are left. Um, scoring for brackets. So I am going to share the standings for the classroom contest and the staff contest right now. For round one, each book that you correctly picked um, was worth, worth three points for a possible 24 points total if you got all eight books correct. So here's the standing so far. For the classroom contest where the students picked in first place with 21 points, with seven out of eight correct is Miss Rem Logan's fifth grade class. In second place with six out of eight correct with 18 points is a tie between Shepard, McCoy, Koch, Kimberly, and Dorenzo. In third place with five correct is Thing, V, Melillo, Frost, and Jerich. And in fourth place with four correct is Rosario, Summerjeet, Woods, C. Smith, Schwartz, and Lustig. There's a possible total of 60 points for the entire bracket, so it's anybody's game still. And a lot of people got had Finding Winnie as their winning book, so really it could be anybody's game. For the staff standings, we actually have a perfect bracket. Miss V got all eight books correct. So she has 24 points as in, and is in first place. In second place with seven out of eight correct and 21 points is Coach Koff. We have a tie between a lot of people in third place with six out of eight correct for 18 points. Miss T, Coach Veraki, Miss Halstead from Media, Miss George, Miss Shepard, Miss Ross, Lustig, Miss Maida, Miss Martha, Miss Daza. Ms. Ram Logan and Mr. David. And then in fourth place, we have a three-way tie between Ms. S, Mrs. Dorenzo, and Mr. Lewis. 
Round two voting is open until Tuesday, March 19th at 7 p.m. Um, during spring break on that Wednesday, they will release the final four. When we return from spring break, there will be those final four left, and we'll have two days to vote before they reveal the two books that are in the championship. So there will be time after spring break to vote if you don't get a chance to do it during spring break. Many of you have been commenting in the Google Classroom. Just make sure that whenever you are commenting, it is regarding the books and that everything you say is appropriate, respectful, responsible, and kind. I would love to hear in the Google Classroom what you think about the results so far, because I know a couple Diamond View favorites were actually voted out in the first round. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.